Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to another Halo Reach action figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the unhelmeted Carter from the Series 5 Halo Reach action figure line. Now, um, I would like to say that basically I think that all of these unhelmeted figures really are superfluous, meaning that we didn't really need them um, compared to um, how things were in the past. Um, I'm just not real sure that there was any point in making them just because, you know... It, I think that they could have included these extra heads with the original figures if they really wanted to have an unhelmeted version. But that's just me. That's just my thoughts. Moving on into like the actual review, um, Carter here is basically the same figure as we had previously. Um, as you can see here, I believe Carter was in Series 2 originally. Um, they're the same height. It's basically the same figure. The only difference really outstanding is the heads. You know, you've got a helmet instead of a head. Man, just that's it. Now, unlike... The other previous Carter, this Carter here, comes with a Spartan laser. And this is the first Spartan laser, or the first time the Spartan laser has been released in the Halo Reach series. Um, there was another figure in Series 5. It was the Spartan Operator. Um, he also came with a Spartan laser, but it was, um, you know, just it's a new weapon for this series. Um, as you can see, the figure can hold the laser, but it's not that great. Um, unlike real life, these things don't have posing ability that you would really, really want for them to hold it, but you can see he can hold it with two hands and it's not going anywhere, so that's good. Um, take the laser out of his hands, show you what it looks like a little bit better. Up close, here is the Spartan laser. I mean, it's a very nicely detailed, well-painted uh, weapon, and it does have a moving part here in the back, so that's cool. Um, other than that, I would say that I'm not, I, I'm not real sure about this weapon. This would be the first weapon, guys, that I would tell you to be very careful with because it feels very breakable. Um, it is probably the first weapon in the Halo Reach. I mean, you can hear hear that sound. It's it's like a hollow sound. It feels very very light for its size, um, and that kind of concerns me that somebody out there will break them pretty easily, especially the handle here at the front. Um, now, compared to the previous Spartan laser here. It's clearly larger, clearly larger. And I think even back in Siri, uh, Halo 3, this Spartan laser here was already too small. So this one definitely is in a better scale. And it definitely better paint job, um, better sculpt. It's just a better weapon. I mean, I think it looks really cool. So this one, definitely cool. Uh, besides the Spartan laser, the unhelmeted Carter here does come with a frag grenade. Uh, however, I can't really put the frag grenade where I usually like to keep it on the left butt peg because he has this fanny pack back here that they do kind of glue on. You can't, it is removable. Um, as you can see on my previous Carter, uh, he did have a fanny pack on there. I took that off. So it is removable, but it does kind of peel a bit of the paint. So be careful with that if you're not really anxious to take it off. Um, other than that, he's a standard Spartan body. Um, there's not like anything different as far as his armor goes. I mean, the, the both shoulders um, and the chest are removable. Obviously, the head still is, so you could remove this head. Uh, I haven't tried it, but you could remove this head and pop on a helmet. So you could actually use the, the unhelmeted head, maybe repaint it a bit, and then you could pop it on another Spartan and say that's like his face like under the helmet. That'd be kind of cool, I think. Uh, I noticed that my Carter's hand here is a little loose. I don't know why that is. I just opened him. Okay. Um, besides that, the other thing you might be interested in seeing is his face um, because this is an unhelmeted version. Um, I'd say that the face sculpt is, is meh. I mean, I've, I've seen better on action figures. Compared to the amount of detail and paint job that goes into the Spartan bodies, and then you see this head, and it's just so plain, you know? Um, and, and really, McFarlane uh, toy production and everything, they haven't really... Any of the figures that have faces, uh, not, not like Marines, but like any of the Spartans who have faces, or even Buck's face, uh, the ODST Buck from uh, Halo 3 ODST, their faces just didn't really look that great. Um, so, eh. So, for my personal opinion on this figure, I would pass on him. I would pass and try to get the original Carter. Because if you can get all of Noble Team with the helmets on, I think that'd be... It, it is really cool when you get them set up in a diorama. I've already done it. It looks amazing. Um, so that's just my personal opinion. I would pass on this figure. But if you're really hell-bent on getting it... Um, I don't know if hell-bent would be the right word. But if you're really serious about picking the figure up, I would probably... I'd give him a rating of like a uh, four out of five. Uh, the reason I don't give him a four out of five is mainly because of the head sculpt. It could be better. And the other thing is this laser just feels really, really breakable. I'm, I'm not real excited about this. Um, this is actually probably the first weapon that I've noticed that 
Well, I guess it's not the first, but it's clearly the first that is actually two pieces stuck together. It's not one piece. Um, like the assault rifles, they're just a single piece. There's nowhere for them to be glued together. They're just pretty. Oh, no, they look like maybe they were. I don't know. Maybe they were too. All right. Well, either way, whether or not this just feels brittle and I'm just, I don't know. I know that some of these, they're actually now marketing these figures to, where's the, the ages on this? Oh, now they're marketing these figures to 8 and up. They used to be like 12 and up. Now they're, or was it 14 and up even? Now they're 8 and up. So 8-year-olds getting these? I don't know. I might pass on it. Anyway, guys, that's just my opinion. Talk to you guys all later. Thank you very much for watching, comment, subscribing, being awesome people as always. You guys are awesome, awesome sauces. Uh, if you have any questions about this figure, comment down below, and I'll uh, do my best to get to you guys soon. All right, guys? Anyway, talk to you all later. Have a good one, and uh, see ya.